Hi, I'm Molly Gold, home organization expert, and today we're talking about how to make a school planner. All part of our year-long Go Mom Organizing Tip series, August is all about back to school, and when it comes to handling all that paperwork, it's up to you, Mom, to give it a home. So, here are my tips about making a school planner. Number one, you're gonna to wanna to get a binder. I like a durable binder that has a slick cover in case somebody wants to decorate with a picture. You can engage your children in that because this is a tool not just for you, but for them. I usually recommend anywhere between one and one and a half inches, but not any bigger, no matter if it's kindergarten all the way to senior year. And I suggest that you use Avery Slash Pocket Tabs. I don't have a relationship with Avery, but I love them because they come in either a five cut or an eight cut. And they're translucent, but they're colorful, and they're easy to label. So here's what it looks like inside. You're gonna use pages from our Go Mom DIY Planner, and you're very simply gonna set this up. The tabs are Teacher, PTA, Tests, Room Mom, and activities. Depending on what's happening in your child's life, you also may have resource if your child needs additional support, either for learning disability or for gifted services. You may want to add college if you're in the zone where you're starting to really look at college information and you just want to keep all of that there together versus making a separate binder. And then you're going to go ahead and use different resource worksheets. If you are in the, the throes of back to school, hopefully you've gotten our free back to school printable that tells you how to get things organized. But perhaps the next most important thing to do for the entire year, but especially back to school, is to start off with an expenses worksheet. Back to school expenses go well beyond your child's school supplies and clothing. If you have a senior or if you have someone in high school, take note, you will have a class ring, you will have a letterman's jacket, you will have senior pictures, you will have a parking pass, you will have class dues, you will have a yearbook, you will have a pass to all the sporting events, you will have club dues, you will have graduation expenses, cap and gown, invitations, and a party, and the tickets. So this expenses worksheet is to help you track what happens for the entire year, not just the backpack, the supplies, and the clothes. You're gonna to wanna to have basic school contact information for everyone. You're gonna to wanna to have a memories worksheet just in case you wanna write down special things that happen or things that you maybe are taking pictures of and recording as you go. And then of course you're gonna to wanna to have a monthly calendar. You can use the school's monthly calendar or if you prefer you can go ahead and put in the Go Mom monthly calendar. That's what you have in front of teacher. PTA, same kind of thing. Don't forget to include all the important reference information for the committee chairs, the president, and any special events that the PTA has. This is a place where fundraisers are an expense that you want to keep track of. Your PTA needs your support both in membership and in you participating in their fundraiser. And hopefully it's a good one like we're going to have at our elementary school, bulb sales for bulbs for flowers in the spring. And at the high school, every year they do a point set of sale, which is just a wildly successful. Tests, it's really the only thing you need to keep when your children are younger. It's all about artwork and whatnot, but the true story of your child's progress will be select writing samples, perhaps some project examples, and of course the tests. It's the running record of how they're doing. Now let's talk about Room Mom. If it's your turn, we've got your organized Room Mom worksheet. We've got your organized work, just in case that worksheet doesn't help you delegate near enough. And know that it's all about rallying volunteers. I'm a big fan of being a co-room mom. Two is always better than one. <laughs> and then the same thing with activities. It doesn't matter what your child's involved in. If it's something at church, something at a special club, if it's something extracurricular, you're gonna wanna go ahead and keep track of that. Same thing for sports. You've got your organized team mom form. I'm gonna presume you might have your turn. Again, co-team mom is a good thing, team parent. And then of course, all the information that you need to keep about sports. And that's what sets up the activities profile. If you take the time now to put together this binder, use the folders and include key reference forms, you will be amazed at how much more smoothly your school year will go. Make one of these for each of your children. You can consolidate the information into other locations when needed, such as your family budget. Won't you be glad that you track those expenses all year long? You can make sure that your children know that after they've gone through their backpacks and papers, this is the destination where you're going to be keeping everything. 
Making a school planner is a good thing, so take the time to do it now, and I'd love to know what tool do you use to keep a running record of your school year for each child. Thanks so much for stopping by again, and we really hope that you're enjoying the series, Go Mom Organizing Tips, and especially back to school, it's the cat's meow. And we really appreciate you stopping by. Check out our Pinterest board for back to school, all kinds of great resources, and we hope to see you next time. Take care.